Hello, Stage Global Team. This is David Lundgren, PAC Leader. We had so many new people joining our group in the last week. I thought I would do a special training. This will be a quick training uh, regarding the user profile page. Now, on the screen, I'm just showing mine so you can see the results of what I did, but I'm also going to show you in detail how to set it up. As you scroll down, you see the top banner, the side, right side banners, and then you'll notice that there's no text banner. There's a reason for that. So take a look right here. I've paused the video, so we're going to show you how to put that video in there. We're going to show you how to get the banner ads at the top, the right. I'm going to show you how to get this, what I call business card information, name, email, phone number, Skype, total stage views, pay special attention, just hit a milestone. That's not 10,000, that's 1,042,410 views. Now that's the total stage views. Profile views is 32,579 as of this recording. That's still a lot of people. 32,000 visiting your website, much less over a million in three months as of this recording to visit all my websites. So you can see I'm going to show you how to get the About Me section. And then as you scroll down, you're going to see a section called My Stages. For me, it's six, which is the six being presented out of 3,700 uh, you know, websites and stages. The majority of that is the stage bot. And you'll see I can sort it by most viewed, which it is a default. Comes up automatically by most viewed. I can show it by least viewed, newest, oldest. So this is a good learning lesson for anybody. When you have new people coming in and they want to see or copy some of your videos, I don't spend the time anymore sending links. I just have them go to my profile page, which is this page. And by the way, you can write this down. Uh, postvideo.biz 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 that will take you to this page so one thing here you can click on show more videos and uh, it'll just take a moment to populate there we go and that's the next sequence of the most popular I can click on show more videos and that's gonna pull up even more so you could actually, if you wanted to, keep doing that and it would show 3,700 videos. But you'll notice that we have a contact form. Uh, you think there's a lot of programming in this? Wait till I show you how simple it is. See the little banner, the, or the uh, uh, plug at the bottom? They can put in their email, they can click it, and then there's a feed box. So we're going to show you how all this works within one minute. It's so simple once you know how to do it. Now, whenever you're at the user interface, the user profile page, which is this page for me, and you see the words admin panel, that simply means that you're logged in. It's in there, ready to go. Click it, which I just did. Pulls up my account. Now, what I want you to do is click on stages at the top, second line down, go over here, click on about you that's going to pull up the user stage profile user page okay and then here's the link that actually takes you to your page once we're done so first thing the biggest mistake that people make all the time how can't I see my user profile number one answer they didn't check this box right there uncheck check make sure it's checked so I want you to keep in mind how simple this is to create. No programming. Put in your name, country, email, phone, Skype, just your username, not the full Skype.com, just the username. Featured stage. Look at this. There's a pull down menu there. And it's gonna, for me, it's gonna pull up 1,300 stages, or excuse me, 3,700. 
So you might only, if you're new, you might only have one or two. So you're going to have to create a stage first, at least one. And then you're going to pull down this menu and select it. And this selection of your featured stage is what's pulling up the video on the user profile page as well as the banners on the top, the right, and the bottom, you know, the bottom stuff right there. That's all controlled by that stage. So make sure that's really a prerequisite. Get that done first, maybe one or two of them, and then check this box, select it, and then come down here. The entire contact me opt-in form is controlled by that one checkbox. No programming required. And you can see right there a little about you. All you do is I'd recommend you do this on a text editor outside of the system. Copy paste. And that's what I did. And you can start with just a paragraph. You got to remember you can always enhance it at a later time. Then you can go in and put in your social marketing button so it can help promote it. And then you must hit save profile. Once you're done, now if this is blank, I'll give you about, you know, minute at the most. You might take a little longer coming up with the a little about you, but it doesn't take that long once you got a stage built. Okay, so a couple minutes. Now, once you're done, it says your public profile is located here. Now, if you check that link or click that link and you didn't check this box, it's not going to work. So we've got the box saved. Anytime you, ma you make any changes, make sure to hit the Save button at the bottom. Now we're going to hit the link and it goes directly back, pulls up my video, pulls up my top banner, pulls in my right side banners, pulls in all the information. Let me stop that video. Uh, pulls all my what I call business card details. See how right there Skype call? It's pulling in the Skype username. It's p automatically pulling in all the stage views, profile views. If you're a premium member in our team and I add you to our co-op, you'll see these numbers grow real quick. When you joined, last time you visited, make sure you visit because your, your customers will see this. About me, that's where we did a little copy pasting. Go down here, my stages, that's automatic. Don't have to worry about that. Contact form, remember that checkbox? No programming, one check creates that. All these banners down here, top, right, and this one is controlled by the stage. The feed box is controlled by the stage. So that's in the stage editor. So really what I'm saying is once you create your stage and you go and set up your banners, you know, complete your stage, save it, and then select it, everything magically appears. That's it. So we're going to go back as a recap. Admin panel, stages, about you, click it. Make sure the My pu Profile Public box is checked. Fill it out. Hit the Save button at the bottom. A lot of people do all this work and they forget to scroll down. Hit that stay, Save button and it will automatically populate this page. Now you know how to be a little bit more dangerous in setting up your user profile page. Have a great day.